At first, the hardest things to remember were their faces. Then it was their voices. But I'll never forget the screams. Sixteen of us started this journey. Down to five now. And part of me can't help but think. They're the lucky ones. No one talks anymore. I know how they feel. Each day we're out here. A little detail gets forgotten. So you do what you can to remember. Focus on why I left in the first place. And what we're heading to. The new blue. A planet just like how ours used to be. A new hope. Somewhere we can start again. And try to forget the past. They said they came in peace. I haven't forgotten that. Or oh, how they poison the atmosphere. Those with money got out early. The rest of us. We went to ground. In the darkness, we held on to the hope that things would get better. Hope stays alive as long as you do. That's how the saying went. So we stayed hidden. And did what we could to survive. Then, I heard about the lifeboats. It seems that greed is a universal language. It wasn't easy, but I managed to gather enough to buy passage. Even then, it was only for one. So we decided I would go first. Once there, I'd work hard and send for them when I had enough. That was the hardest part. I can't help but wonder if it was the right decision. No. I have to stay strong for them. For those still to come. And for those who will never arrive. Four. Hope stays alive. As long as you do. When I saw the planet, I couldn't describe what I felt. It was a, a unique kind of joy. We made it. They told us when we left this might happen, so I knew not to be worried. I had learnt more of the language than some others. I knew they would take us the rest of the way. Just sit still and wait. Been waiting about three months now. At least the air is fresh. I often remind myself of how beautiful Earth was before it was ravaged. Almost as beautiful as this new place. So far from home. From all that I love. But I wasn't on the blue planet. Not yet. 